and rising. Yes, it is yet another day and the Lord has called us to pray. We're going to start off with Proverbs 1 and 11. This is the scripture that Spirit brought me to. Actually, we're going to do Proverbs 1, 10 through 11. Okay, let's go. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly in the innocent for the innocent without cause. All right, let's drop down to 15 and 16. It says, my son, do not walk in the way of them. Keep your foot from the path for their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed blood. The Lord is speaking to us. He wants us to know we should not walk with the counsel of the ungodly. We should not be walking with those who do evil. So we have to turn away from those things. When someone tells you, go do this, and you know that it's wrong, we have to turn away from that. When someone tells you to do wrong by your neighbor or some other person or something that is not right, and you know that it's not right because we do have the spirit of God within us. We actually have the Holy Spirit who teaches us all things. But when we walk in the counsel of the ungodly, some of us have become easily astrayed and walked away and listened to what was wrong. So Spirit is warning us of this counsel. We cannot walk in that counsel because some of these people are actually shedding innocent blood. They may not be doing it physically, but this could be through... Um, dark magic it could be through witchcraft trying to send darkness to saying oh we can send this to your enemies because they deserve it no we don't supposed to do that because those people are actually you may be just thinking let me teach them a lesson but the ones in who you seek counsel to may be the very ones that are seeking innocent blood. They want to see shedded blood. They want to go through and take someone's life for this situation. It is important that we do not be fooled because even the word of God says the very elect will be fooled. Some of the very elect, the ones that he chose, may be fooled by the wrong ones. So we have to make sure we try the spirit by the spirit that we will listen to and read the word of God so that he can lead us and, and help us to be wise. See, in all thy ways, you should get wisdom. When you seek the counsel from the Lord and wise counsel from those who the Lord sends to you, you will not be led astray. So keep walking in the in the paths of righteousness. Walk in the path that the Lord is giving you. Make sure you, that your feet are ordered by the steps of God. So let's pray because we want to keep our minds focused. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the counsel that you give us. Help us to walk in your way and not in the way of sinners. Lord God, we thank you for your precious time. We thank you for your precious Holy Spirit and your anointing that you would lay your hands upon us now and cause us to listen and walk in your path of righteousness. Help us to seek your way and not the ways of sinners. Continue to walk us along the ways that we will be protected. Surround us with the brilliant white light of protection. And do the same for our family, Lord God. We are here to plead to you that you would keep our families safe. Keep our minds safe. Keep us all safe, Lord God. Create a hedge, a, a hedge of protection around us to keep us safe. And surround us with a brilliant white light of protection. A hedge of protection around us, our family, friends, loved ones, homes, cars, trucks, and lands. Lord, we thank you for the love that you have given us. We thank you for the words that you spoke over us as you have given us your full anointing that you've chosen us. Lord, we're showing gratitude. All the things that we have going on, Lord, and even while we're sleeping, Lord God, keep our minds protected. The dreams that we have been having, Lord God, if they are not of you, Lord God, we tell, we counsel the enemy schemes now and we, we counsel the evil ungodly things that were in those dreams, Lord God, all of the wickedness in high places, Lord God, we bind those things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every foot that has stepped into some type of um, a witch room or witch doctor, whatever this may be, 
um, trying to bring us there, Lord God, or trying to bring our children into that situation, Lord God. We command it to stop now and be broken. Every spell must be broken. Every evil wickedness, every incantation, every ungodly soul tie, and every thing that the enemy has tried to do to kill us, Father God, not wanting us to be here, but we are chosen, Lord God. We know that you are here to protect us. So do this now, Lord God. We know that you are here and able to do so. Lord, you watch, Lord God. You see things. You see everything that happens, Lord God, and everything that has taken place. We are knowing that you will counsel the evil things that the devil tried to speak up over our lives and tried to counsel our lives, Lord God. Lord, anyone that the enemy has used in our life, we bind those things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams will not take any type of root. Those dreams are counseled. The very things that happen are counseled. Mission aborted, it must go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you know all and you see all. You know who we are, Lord God. You know that we are for you and that we're here to help you. Um, through this life, but we need your help, Father God. We need you to hold our hands and help us and protect us, Lord God, from the snare of the fowler, Lord God. Protect us from the pestilence, the noiseless pestilence, Lord God. Lord, we know that you hear us. We know that you are with us, Lord. We ask now the angels to be take charge over our lives in case we fall, Lord God. Help us to be protected. Release your anointing, Father God. Let it fall fresh on us that everywhere we go, we are protected and that every evil thing must be counseled. It is counseled in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus is against those that have sought to sought after our lives. The blood of Jesus is against those who have placed us in some type of evil, wicked place, Lord God, to try to take our lives through any type of witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, black magic. All of those things are counseled. Plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against those evil, wicked things and the evil schemes of the enemy, Father God. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, let it rebuke. We rebuke the devourer for your sake, Lord God. We rebuke them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke every person that has tried to seek our lives to take take us away. We rebuke them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke every scheme and counsel and any type of darkness that has been spoken over our family and children, Lord God. The ple- uh, we plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against them. The blood of Jesus is against their schemes and enemy and Lord, in schemes and evilness, Lord God. Lord, we know that you are able to change the lives of our enemies. So now we pray for them. That the blood of Jesus would pour all over them, but be against the evil schemes that are within them. Help them to turn away from their wickedness, Father God, and keep walking towards you. Help them to seek the light, Lord God, your light, your godly light, Lord God. Help them to turn away from their wickedness, even though they may have seen something in us that they didn't like. Lord, cause them to change their mind and walk with you, Lord God. As we walk by faith and not by sight, Lord God, we are trusting that you, Father God, will be with us and will help us throughout this life, especially through each day, Lord God. Lord, protect us from any um, spiritual arrows and and shootings and anything that may be trying to attack us in the spiritual and natural realm, Lord God. Protect us from these things, Lord God. We know that you are able. You are such a miraculous God. You are such an amazing God. Lord, we worship you and praise you, Lord God. We thank you for the things that you have done. We thank you for your very presence, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit is with us, Lord God. Thank you for your spirit, guys. Thank you for your angels, Lord God. Continue to let them keep us safe, Lord God. Protect our homes and protect everything that we put our minds to do, Lord God. Protect our children's minds, that you will cover their minds and cover them in every way, that nothing will come against them, Lord God. Protect our husbands and wives, Lord God, that they will be protected. Protect our protect our children and those that help us take care of them, Lord God, that are there for them, that you will protect them as well and keep them safe. Lord, all of those that are seeking to help us, Lord God, keep them to protect it as well. Lord, we pray for our enemies that they would turn away from their wicked ways, that their evil 
things that they have sent against us will be counseled, Lord God. We know that you are willing and able. You you are able to defeat the enemy for our sake, Lord God. Help us to walk in your way. And thank you for the things that you are doing in our lives, Lord God. We thank you. We praise you and we lift you up, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Lord, thank you. We lift you up and we praise you, Lord God. We magnify you. All of the lies and the schemes of the enemy are canceled now. They are canceled. They are null and void. The blood of Jesus is against every evil lie and every evil darkness. And we thank you for the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus of our very lives in our homes, cars, trucks, and lands. Children, family, friends, and loved ones. We thank you in every way. Touch every school, every workplace, Lord God. Let the blood of Jesus be over it, Lord God. That anything dark that is there will be canceled, null, and void now. In Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach's name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. I definitely appreciate you coming here this morning. It has definitely been different each day. The Lord has given us something different to pray for. And we're thankful for all of those who have been healed through these prayers, who have been touched, who have been able to make it through life each day through these prayers. I thank you for all of you. I thank God for all of you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If there's something that you would like for me to pray for, for you, put it in the comments below. I appreciate you in every way. Be blessed and have an amazing rest of your day. I love you. Peace, love, and light.